This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the Master Lock, model M532 Padlock. This lock was sent to me by Ken in California after I mentioned that I couldn't find it for sale anywhere. So Ken, thank you very much for sending this my way. Now this lock looks like any other product from Master Lock's Magnum lineup, but inside hides a remarkable reverse sidebar reprogrammable core. I spoke at some length about why I like this core so much in video number 626 when I encountered it in this Master Lock number 18. Because of that, I'm not going to explain it all again in this video, so if you do want the long-winded version, I'll leave a link to video number 626 in the description below. But here's the cliff notes. When you apply torque to a reverse sidebar lock, it seizes up the sidebar rather than binding it against the sliders. And if you can't bind the sidebar against the sliders, you can't pick it open. That's right, these are master locks that probably can't be picked with the traditional torque and set method. And I think that's remarkable because master lock is darned close to producing a lock that I might not be able to pick open. Now in video number 626, I discussed the flaws in master lock's implementation of this core in the number 18 and quite a few of them have been fixed in the M532. Most notably, the number 18 can be shimmed and wrapped open, both of which can't be done on the M532's ball bearing locking mechanism. But there is still one significant flaw. This is the core that's inside of both of these locks. What makes this reverse sidebar so difficult to pick, as I mentioned, is that you can't bind it into the sidebar, into the sliders. However, as you can see, the entire side of this core is open, which allows us to take a tool like this, which I made out of an old 15 thousandths pick, and reach around the side and manually shove that sidebar into the sliders. And at that point, picking this lock becomes trivial. There's really only one complication, and that is this small lug right here in the back that holds the core in place after you set the sidebar. To release it, there is a tiny button on the back right side of the keyway that you need to press to release the core. It's not difficult, but you do need to know it's there or you will never get this lock open. Okay, let's take a look at how we can take advantage of Master Lock's oversight here and pick this guy open. And of course, afterwards, I'll take it apart to show you what's inside of it. But before we do that, I wanna show you the reprogrammable feature that this core has. And it's, it's actually very simple to use. All you do is insert the correct key and turn it 90 degrees. At that point, you can see a tiny little hole in the face of the core lines up with a hole in the bottom plate. Behind that is the rekeying mechanism. We use this tool that comes with the master lock to press that mechanism. At this point, you can remove the old key and I'm going to put a completely different key into this lock. And it doesn't have to be a master lock key. It can be any five pin quick set key, after which this is rekeyed. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's essentially very similar as far as the procedure goes to changing a quick set smart key. Okay, so let's see what we can do to pick this guy open. I'm going to try to do this in my hand, though it is a bit on the awkward side. What I'm gonna do is, well, actually, let me show you just how much space I have to work with here. You can see there's a little bit of flop in the core, and if I push it all the way to the side, you can see there's a fair amount of space into which I can insert this curved tool that I'm going to direct at the sidebar. So let's get that in there. And once I have it in place, I'm just going to move it to the side. Hopefully I'm not blocking your view too much. And let's see if I've got that sidebar. I think we've got all of these sliders picked. Okay, I'm 
I'm going to put some tension on the core to hold that sidebar in place. And then I'm going to hit that tiny little button I told you back about in the back of the keyway. And we got the lock open. So once you're able to tension that sidebar, picking this open is remarkably easy. Okay, let's take it apart and I will show you what's inside of this one. Okay, there's my screwdriver. To open this up, we have a small screw down the shackle hole. If I had to mention one weakness in the physical construction of this lock, it would be the core retention mechanism, which is susceptible to some pulling attacks. But frankly, it's, it's about the, the industry standard on these cores, so I have a tough time faulting them on it. Okay, here we have the core, and it's, essentially, it's exactly the same as the one I showed you before, with the exception of a couple of scratches on that sidebar from me practicing manually tensioning it. One of the first things we're going to have to do in taking this apart is remove this top cover, and it's behind this top cover that the rekeying mechanism rests. We have a small lever and the actuator for that lever. I explained in video number 626 exactly how, how all that works, so I'm not going to go into the minutia of that today. Okay, we have an extremely tough C-clip in here. get out of there. Okay, before we remove this, I'm going to have to remove the combed shape locking bar from the sidebar. Now we can take this out. Okay, we have a very large reprogrammable sidebar here that I'm going to take out and show you the small five moving elements. And they are key to reprogramming this lock. Again, in video number 626, I explain a little better how that works. And this comb-shaped bar is what locks all of them in place. And you can see we have our five sliders here, which are just pieces of brass plate that are spring-loaded. I'm not going to take them out because you can see there is a bar holding them in that's actually peened in place. So the only way to get this apart would be destructively, and I'd like to keep this lock in good condition. Okay, so this has been the Master Lock Model M532, a lock that is flirting dangerously close to being remarkably good. Master Lock just needs to protect that sidebar better, and it's not that hard. I can think of a half dozen ways off the top of my head. And if they should decide to make some changes, a little bit of drill protection would be great for this, and a more stout core retention mechanism would be nice as well. Okay, that's it for today. Ken, once again, thank you very much for sending this lock to me. To everyone else, if you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.